Hi everyone, and welcome to the QuickBooks Point of Sale demonstration. This demo is designed to introduce you to QuickBooks Point of Sale version 12, one of the most widely used retail management solutions among smaller independent retailers. My name is Rayanne Salter with Minding My Books. I've been working with QuickBooks software for over 20 years. I'm an Intuit Premier Reseller and QuickBooks Point of Sale Pro Advisor along with QuickBooks Financial. As you can tell, I think QuickBooks rocks. I've been working with QuickBooks Point of Sale for 10 years and specialize in consulting, selling, setup, and training. Let's take a detailed look at the common tasks that most retailers perform each day and how Point of Sale helps them perform their task. The most frequent pain point that I hear from a customer for the very first time is usually from inventory management. Usually many small retailers that I work with rarely had a system in place where they could record and keep track of their on-hand quantities and know the true cost of their on-hand quantities that they sell. Very often after they've got up and running on the point of sale, they're surprised to learn that they are not making what they thought they were making on many of the items. Point of sale will give them a true perpetual inventory solution, meaning that it deducts quantities from inventory when they make a sale, or adds return quantities back to inventory when a return is accepted. So they always know what's in stock and what needs to be reordered. Also the ability to set discounts, price levels, and even put items on sale gives them better control and profitability of their inventory asset. For retail businesses especially, customers are their biggest asset. Smaller retailers that are using a simple cash register to ring up sales are likely missing out on the opportunity to track sales trends on a customer level or to identify their best selling customers. In point of sale, they can track both customer contact information and buying history all in one place. This gives them the ability to keep in touch with targeted offers and also to make better decisions on what to keep in stock. In addition to accepting cash and checks, secure credit card processing is more important than ever. Point of Sale V12 is EMV chip ready. It's designed to support the most updated design technology for greater security efficiently completing and, and accounting for their day's activities can take you an inordinate amount of time. In addition to making sales and receiving inventory, counting cash, preparing deposits for the bank, then totaling and sorting credit card receipts, you need to re-enter this information into your accounting system. One of the features that makes a point of sale a valuable time saver is the ability to exchange information between the two programs, saving hours of time and assuring accuracy. The ability to support more than one location means that point of sale is scalable. When a retail business owner wants to expand, point of sale makes it easy for them to add locations and inventory as needed while maintaining control of their overall operations from a centralized headquarters location. Let's start by going in product to demonstrate basic navigation, give you a look at the make a sale screen, and other commonly used other sales windows. Next, I'll review the financial exchange and multi-store, two of the most powerful features with the point of sale. But now let's go ahead and get started with the navigation. Like with QuickBooks Financial, the home page, also known as a navigator, uses icons to provide easy access to all key point of sale activities. Notice that they are grouped together by function. If you are familiar with previous versions of point of sale, you will recognize this area on the left. It contains what I call task buttons. These are yet another way to open transaction and list windows. The buttons that appear here are always relative to the open form or list window. As you can see, they can be customized. 
you can add or remove buttons that are most frequently needed throughout the day. On the right hand side of the screen is a panel. It contains system generated notes like inventory reminders. It's also a really handy area for staff members to leave notes to each other like order more stockroom supplies. In addition to the taskbar and icon buttons, there are at the top windows standard text bar menus. And just below them is the windows icon. Back in point of sale after a brief hiatus. Now I can switch between windows if I'm in the middle of a transaction. So if I happen to be in the customer list, I can simply open the new purchase order window and get started on my purchase order. Note the call out in the top left hand corner of the screen. This is also pointing out the new function that was added in QuickBooks Point of Sale version 12, which is the ability to use a control tab function to switch between windows. So let's go back to our item list so we can use it as an example so you can see how to work in most Point of Sale list windows. All lists can be sorted by clicking on the desired column header. You can also add or remove columns from the list view and edit most of the information in the list view. And of course, I can put a customer in edit mode and edit many of the fields here. This is a good way to see the kind of information and the quantity of information that can be tracked for a customer. Now let's take a look at the Make a Sale screen. I've opened to a sales receipt already in progress. Items can be entered on a receipt through a barcode scanner, selecting directly from the item list, or by simply typing in its name. Line items can be edited directly on the screen. So if, for example, I want to directly edit the price, I can along with the quantity. If I need to make more detailed edits, I can click on the edit button. That allows me to do things like change the tax code, maybe change the item description for a particular sale. I can add a serial number if needed. Also, there are other options to add commission and so on. As you can see, the items on this receipt is being discounted at 50%. They are likely on sale this week. If I wanted to adjust that discount, I could click on the quantity price discount button and I could change the discount if I needed to on the fly. This type of discount only applies to the discount being edited at this point. So that changes to a 20% discount for that item. If I wanted to apply a discount to the entire sale, I could change it here. These discounts that can be managed at the point of sale are related to the permission level of the sales associate that is logged in at the time of sale. Keep in mind, it's important for owners to know that they are allowing someone to further discount an item. Accepting payment is very simple. You can accept cash, credit, check, a gift card, or I can put this on account. I'm going to accept cash. My total is $1169. My customer is going to give me $20. Once I click save, only for purposes of this demo, you can see where the sales associate will get the change in amount of cash to give back to the customer. That's how easy it is to process this sale. 
Let's go back to the home page and point out a couple of important areas within the point of sale. The most important part of retailer's day is the end of day. In point of sale, the end of day process is made up of running a series of end of day reports that not only total the sales for that day, but also break out the tender type that was taken on that day. Backing up your company data is also part of the end of day process. If you're a remote store, sending data from the headquarters store to the remote is also part of the automation process. And exchanging data with QuickBooks will complete your end of day process. We'll talk a little later in the process about the benefits of integrating with QuickBooks Financial. Our last stop is the report section. Here's where there are several reports that can be broken out by category. There's sales information, inventory related reports, vendors and purchasing, and so on. And like with QuickBooks Financial, these reports can be customized and then memorized. I memorize the reports they will need to manage their business each day. Now let's go back and take a look at how the financial exchange works. Without question, one of the features that make point of sale available time saver is the ability to exchange information between point of sale and QuickBooks Financial Desktop. Let's talk about what information can be tracked in which program. In point of sale, all detailed information regarding inventory resides in the point of sale. This includes item prices, quantity on hand, any discounts, reorder points, and vendor information, including purchasing history. Point of sale will also be the primary source for detailed information regarding customer sales history. Of course, this is if you're consistent in capturing a customer's name on the transaction. QuickBooks Financial will continue to be where all your general ledger activities take place, like bank reconciliations and payroll processing, for example, and it will be the source for company-related reporting. This includes the profit and loss statements and the balance sheets. The balance sheet will only report the total amount in your inventory asset value and not the details that make up that value. That information resides in your point of sale. If a retailer wants to offer in-store account credit for some or all of their customers, they will have to integrate with QuickBooks Financial. QuickBooks will keep track of all the accounts receivable balances. This will allow you to send out statements if you wish. And finally, QuickBooks will be able to keep track of accounts payable. It does that by receiving information from the point of sale regarding merchandise that has been received from within the point of sale. This chart shows the point of sale version 12 lineup. I'm not going to go into each point, but I will go into the key features that distinguish one level from another. Point of Sale Basic is a great entry level program for those who need to track inventory and use multiple workstation capability. With Point of Sale Basic, you can run as many as 20 workstations at one time. You would need a separate license for each workstation. You can automatically track inventory as items are sold, returned, or received, process debit and credit card transactions, ring up sales using a barcode scanner. You can also make sales and accept credit card payment on a mobile device and seamlessly integrate with QuickBooks Financial Software. Point of Sale Pro is the best solution for a single store retailer that wants more robust inventory control and more comprehensive sales and customer management capability. With the Pro level, you get all of the features 
as a basic level, plus the ability to track sales commissions, create sales orders, work orders, and offer layaways to customers. Recognize the best customers with the rewards program, track serial numbers, and customize receipts and other forms. Unless you have multiple stores, my clients usually choose the Pro version. Point of Sale Multi-Store offers all of the features as a basic and Pro levels with the added ability to add up to 20 stores. So from a centralized location, you can track the transfer of merchandise between stores and also run store-specific reports in Point of Sale and QuickBooks Financial. Let's take a closer look at the multi-store level. One store is designed as a headquarters store. Store 1 in our example is usually the largest store or the location where the financial books are kept. Typically at the end of each business day, the remote store performs a store exchange sending their end of day totals to the headquarters store. They can do this by email, removable media, or using a store transfer service provided by Intuit. I have a workaround using Dropbox that works really well. It's a headquarters store that performs a financial exchange with the QuickBooks Financial software. In addition, and this kind of configuration, the headquarters store is the only store that can create purchase orders on behalf of all of the stores. Receiving vouchers in sales transactions are all initiated at the remote store, but they also can be created at the headquarters store on behalf of that remote location. For those who are new to point of sale, a separate license of point of sale needs to be purchased for each workstation within each store location, and each copy must be in the same version of point of sale. Point of Sale supports a hardware that's essential for a retail business. The items that you see on the left side of the screen are usually sold as a hardware bundle. They can also be purchased individually. The items on the right are considered optional and usually purchased optionally as needed. A couple of comments about the optional hardware. Many states will require a customer facing poll display in retail setting. Make sure to check with your state to see what requirements are. Most of my clients use standard Avery labels that can be printed using a regular printer. There may be situations where a clothing retailer or jeweler that need hang or butterfly tags. This printer would be a great solution. This concludes our point of sale demonstration. We offer a complimentary consultation and the best discount pricing available for your business. And remember, not only do you get the same pricing and promos as purchasing directly through Intuit, you also get three free hours for setup and training per license purchased. And if you're currently using QuickBooks Point of Sale, we can run you a quote for the upgrade. Please give me a call at 877-757-8223 or email me at rayann.salter at mindingmybooks.com. Thank you so much for your time.